Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this video, we will understand how to identify the saturation in the BJT, and we will also see what is hard saturation and how a transistor can be used as a switch. Now in the previous videos of the BJT, we had seen that by biasing the BJT in the active region, it is possible to use it as an amplifier. But the BJT can also be used as a switch. And whenever it is used as a switch, then it is operated in the cutoff and the saturation region. So we will understand the working of the BJT as a switch using the fixed bias or the base bias configuration. Now, as I said, when the BJT is used as a switch, then the operating point changes between the cutoff and the saturation region. So to identify the operation of the BJT in the cutoff region is relatively simple because when this voltage VBB is zero. Or it is less than the voltage VB, then this base current IB is equal to zero, and we know that the correct current IC can be given as beta times IB. So if we neglect the reverse saturation current, then the correct current IC is approximately equal to zero, and due to that, there won't be any voltage drop across this resistor RC. That means the voltage at this collector terminal. Is equal to VCC, and if we see the operating point, then the operating point would be somewhere around here. So we can say that whenever the base current IB is equal to zero, then the correct current IC is also approximately equal to zero, and the voltage VC is equal to VCC. That means the BJT is operating in the cutoff region. So just by looking at the circuit, we can make out that. The BJT is operating in the cutoff region. However, when the voltage VBB is non-zero, then what we cannot make out immediately is whether the BJT is operating in the active or the saturation region. So let us see how to identify the saturation in the BJT. Now, whenever the BJT operates in the saturation, then the voltage VC is very low, and typically it is in the range of 0.1 to 0.2 volt. But here, for the simplicity, we will assume that in saturation, the voltage VC is equal to zero volt, and at that time, this correct current IC will be maximum. That means IC saturation is equal to voltage VCC divided by RC, and this will be the maximum current that can flow through the collector terminal. Now, here, this base current IB can be given as Voltage VBB minus VB divided by RB. And for a moment, if we assume that the transistor is operating in the active region, then the correct current IC can be given as beta times IB. So if this correct current IC is greater than this IC set, then we can say that the transistor is operating in the saturation region because this IC set. Is the maximum possible current which can flow through the transistor. That means the correct current cannot go beyond that, and that is what we call it as a saturation in the transistor. That means even if we try to increase this base current, then the correct current will remain same. So now let us note down the steps for finding the saturation in the BJT. So first, assume that the voltage VC is equal to zero, and then. Find the value of the IC set. Similarly, also find the value of the base current. And assuming the transistor is operating in the active region, the correct current IC can be given as beta times IB. And if the value of this correct current is greater than this IC set, then we can say that the transistor is operating in the saturation. So let us take one example so that it will get clear to you. So for the given circuit, let us find out whether it is operating in the active region or the saturation region. So first of all, we will assume that in the saturation, the voltage VC is equal to zero, and for the given values of the VCC and the RC, the saturation current IC set is equal to 20 volt divided by 10 kilo ohm, that is equal to 2 milliampere. Similarly. Now let us also find out the base current. So this base current IB is equal to 10 volt 
minus 0.7 volt that is the drop between this base and the emitter terminal divided by 100 kilo ohm that is equal to 9.3 divided by 100 kilo ohm that means for the given circuit the value of the base current ib is equal to 93 microampere now for a moment let us assume that the transistor is operating in the active region that means the current current ic can be given as beta times ib or here this current current ic is equal to 50 times 93 microampere that is equal to 4.65 milliampere and if you see the value of this current current ic is greater than ic set because here the value of ic set is equal to 2 milliampere that means we can say that the transistor is operating in the saturation region so in this way we can find out whether the transistor is operating in the saturation region or the active region now here if you notice this saturation current ic set is equal to 2 milliampere while the value of the base current ib is equal to 93 microampere so we can say that here the current gain beta in the saturation is equal to ic divided by ib that is equal to 2 milliampere divided by 93 microampere and if you calculate it then the value of beta in the saturation is equal to 21.5 and in fact it is less than the value of the beta in the active region that means we can say that when the bjt operates in the saturation region then the value of the current gain will reduce that means the value of the beta in the saturation will be less than the value of the beta in the active region now let's say this circuit is designed to use in the saturation but if the value of the beta changes then it is possible that the circuit may come out of the saturation for example if the transistor is replaced or if the circuit is operating at the lower temperature then the value of the beta will reduce and due to that the circuit may come out of the saturation so when we want to operate the transistor in saturation in all conditions then the value of this base resistance rb should be selected in a such a way that the value of the current gain beta is very low and typically it should be around 10 so this is called the hard saturation so to operate the bjt in the hard saturation the value of the beta should be very low and it will ensure that even if there is a change in the external parameters still the transistor operates in the saturation so now to operate this transistor in this hard saturation let us calculate the value of this base resistor now here for the given values of the vcc and the rc the saturation current ic set is equal to 20 volt divided by 10 kilo ohm that is equal to 2 milliampere and to get the value of beta as 10 the value of this ic set divided by beta that means the value of the base current ib should be equal to 2 milliampere divided by 10 that is equal to 200 microampere that means this value of the base current will ensure that the transistor operates in the hard saturation so now let us write down the expression of the base current so here the base current ib can be given as 10 volt minus 0.7 volt divided by rb or we can say that rb is equal to 9.3 volt divided by ib and assuming the value of ib as 200 microampere the value of the rb should be equal to 9.3 divided by 200 microampere that means the value of rb should be equal to 46.5 kilo ohm so for the given circuit if the value of rb is set around this value then we can ensure that the transistor is operating in the hard saturation so in this way by operating this transistor in the cutoff and the saturation region it can be used as a switch and for that a square wave pulse which is varying between 0 and the 10 volt is applied to this transistor so now let us find out how the transistor will act as a switch whenever it is operating in the cutoff and the saturation region so whenever the input is 0 volt then the transistor will operate in the cutoff region because at that time 
the value of the base current IB is equal to 0. And hence, this current current IC is also approximately equal to 0 milliampere. And as this IC is equal to 0, so there won't be any voltage drop across this 10 kilo ohm resistor. And we can say that the voltage at this node is equal to 20 volt. So during the cutoff region of operation, if we see the value of resistor between this collector and the emitter terminal, then it is equal to voltage VC divided by IC. Or in this case, it will be equal to 20 volt divided by 0 milliampere. That is equal to infinite. So ideally, when the transistor is operating in the cutoff region, then the value of this resistor will be equal to infinite. Or we can say that it will act as an open circuit. But actually, due to the reverse saturation current, the value of this resistor R will be very high. So let's say the value of this reverse saturation current is equal to 5 microampere. And due to that, the value of this resistor R will be equal to 20 volt divided by 5 microampere. That is equal to 4 mega ohm. That means during the cutoff region of operation, the resistance offered by the transistor will be very high. Or we can say that the transistor will act as an open circuit. Similarly, in the same circuit, when the input voltage is 10 volt, then the transistor will operate in the saturation region. Because at that time, if we see the base current IB, then it is equal to 10 volt minus 0.7 volt divided by 50 kilo ohm. That is equal to 186 microampere. And assuming the transistor is operating in the active region, the value of the collector current IC is equal to beta times IB. That is equal to 50 times 186 microampere. That means the value of this collector current IC is equal to 9.3 milliampere. And here, the value of the IC set is equal to 20 volt divided by 10 kilo ohm. That is equal to 2 milliampere. So as this collector current IC is greater than this IC set, so we can say that the transistor operates in the saturation. And during the saturation region of operation, we can assume that the voltage VC is approximately equal to 0 volt. So during the saturation region of operation, the value of the resistance between this collector and the emitter terminal is equal to voltage VC divided by IC. That is equal to 0 divided by 2 milliampere. That means during the saturation region of operation, the transistor will act as a short circuit. But actually in the saturation, the value of the voltage VC is typically in the range of 0.1 to 0.2 volt. So let's say the VC is set is equal to 0.2 volt. And with that value, if you calculate the value of resistance R, then it is equal to 0.2 divided by 2 milliampere. That is equal to 100 ohm. That means during the saturation region of operation, the resistance offered by the transistor is very small. And for all practical purposes, we can assume it to be a zero. So in this way, by operating the transistor in the cutoff and the saturation region, it can be used as a switch. So I hope in this video, you understood how to identify the saturation in the BJT and how the BJT can be used as a switch. So if you have any question or suggestion, then do let me know here in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos.